Hello everyone, I'm Derek Arseniaga, Senior Manager of Panasonic uh, Micromobility, and I'm here with Ben Valade from Totem USA. He's the Vice President of Marketing and Sales. And today we're going to be discussing our electric bicycle rollout uh, with our partner Totem USA and uh, what that means for the market and where we see the market going as far as e-bikes. This is a really great time. So there's a lot of things happening in the industry. And uh, like I mentioned, we are partnering with uh, your company, Totem USA, and we're really excited to roll out this product that's coming to market. Uh, maybe you could tell us just a little bit about that. Yeah, sure. So uh, we're very excited to announce the release of the Zen Rider. That's the name of our new uh, bicycle model that we're coming out with in, in collaboration with Panasonic. Uh, we're very excited to use Panasonic's new drive system here. That will be the first UL certified drive system for an e-bike. Yeah, so this is a total game changer, right? I mean, e-bikes are entering the, uh, the market here in the United States rapidly. We've seen a real rise in their uptake uh, over the last few years. So up until this point, Ben, I mean, uh, you know, a lot of people in the United States have had it in their mind that bicycles are really recreation in, recreational in their purpose. And uh, I mean, we've seen together, you know, as we've discussed, a kind of a business value growing for e-bikes. Let's talk a little bit about that. Sure. So that's, that's a great point. And there's so much to discuss with that. I, I agree that there's been a lot of recreational focus on cycling for a long time. Uh, but when we look at e-mobility and as a true way to move people around, when you look at things like last mile transportation and urban environments, and places where people are working and commuting, be able to take something like the Panasonic Zen Rider for your last bit of commute there. Um, th it's moving people around in a way that maybe hasn't been able to be accessible before. Um, so not only are we talking about moving folks around, but we're also saying that um, there's other ways that you can move goods and, and services around as well. So you look at fleet bikes and things where we do deliveries and things like that. And, um, you know, those there, there's a massive upside there as well. So the fact that we can combine the electric technology with safety and bring the fusion of all these together, I think is a really exciting kind of turning point for where we're at with electric bikes. Yeah, definitely. When we talk about urbanization, especially, right, like you said, it might not be practical to own and store a vehicle. And a bicycle takes up almost no footprint compared to a larger vehicle like that. And yeah. you, you don't always have to be thinking about, you know, going to the gas station or something to that effect. E-bikes themselves are just a greener product in general. And a lot of our uh, research and development has gone into making them efficient too. Um, so, you know, they're operating on lithium ion batteries, which are ubiquitous now, they're everywhere. They're going into vehicles, they're going into power tools, they're going into healthcare products, you name it. And right. uh, the, the technology is tried and true and proven. But I think that from a perspective, uh, you know, of somebody who might, be, might not have uh, all the time access to public transportation either. This can kind of fill that gap too. Micromobility as a whole is about to explode in this region uh, for North America and specifically in the United States. And coming through, you know, what we've just come through as a country together, I think that the uh, timing is really perfect for, for this type of a product to emerge. I th think that uh, the Zen Rider really uh, hits right in the center of, of you know, utility and, and kind of universal appeal. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I couldn't agree with you more, Derek. I especially agree with you on the timing uh, as far as what everyone's gone through over the last two years. I think that it's important to note that cycling was one thing that everyone could really get behind and do together, but in their own individual capacity. It's one of the only things we could right. do where we could get outside and go get some exercise, some fresh air, but kind of keep our distance. And so when you have that kind of resurgence in cycling, along with the same cutting edge of the electronic aspect of it and these uh, electric motors and electric batteries becoming more technologically advanced. Yes. You end up inevitably in a situation where the technology sort of outpaces the safety regulations. And whether consumers know that or not, it can be uh, challenging when people find out that, oh, actually there wasn't much regulation on this. And so there's some difficulties with that. So the fact that we can merge all of these ideas together with the UL2849 certification, I think it's just fantastic and the timing couldn't be better. Definitely, excellent. 
I think uh, another thing that I, comes to mind is um, charging and storing these batteries. You know, that's a concern for some people, and that's why UL certification, again, is very important because it has that uh, stamp or that seal of approval from an industry regulator that basically says to the end user, the end consumer, this is a safe product for you to own, operate, store in your home, you know, where your children sleep, where your parents sleep, uh, where your family lives and resides, and it's going to be safe and keep you safe. So I think that's really great, and I'm glad we have that accomplished. So I think the future is really bright for us with e-bikes, and especially with Totem USA as a partner, and I'm really looking forward to what we're going to accomplish. That's right. That's right. The trajectory that it's on now uh, is ultimately that, you know, th there may be a time where you cannot get an e-bike system that is not UL certified online. Um, right. It'll be kind of directed into different segments. But, um, you know, it's, it's just such a wonderful thing to have this amount of science and research technology behind this level of safety that everyone can trust. And so it's not only for the customer themselves, but also for businesses. Um, like we said, we were talking about fleet deliveries and things like that. You know, there's very little room for error for that kind of thing. And so we're, um, you know, to be able to offer this is, is just a really a, a huge step forward, I think, for a lot of folks. So Ben, why don't we talk a little bit about the features of uh, the Zen Rider itself? Um, as far as the Panasonic side of it that we're bringing our system. The motor itself is a 75 Newton meter motor, which means it's bringing 75 Newton meters of torque from the pedals to the rear wheel. And the battery itself is a 404 watt hour battery pack. So those two things combined for an average sized rider is going to give you about 50 miles plus of range, depending on how active you are on the pedals and whether or not you're riding in power mode or eco mode. Uh, personally speaking, I've ridden the bike uh, a lot and I, in my own life I've ridden it 26 miles each direction from my house to our office which I didn't think that was possible the first time I got on an e-bike but it was super comfortable and really enjoyable and uh, I can't wait to ride it a little more I don't know if you can have have some of the same experience oh yeah absolutely uh, we have kind of what we call the we factor with an e-bike I think yeah. every, the first time that anyone ever gets on an e-bike whether you have some uh, preconceived notion of what it may or may not be. Um, when you feel that kind of wind at your back feeling that an e-bike can provide, especially with technology increasing and becoming more lightweight. And so we have these uh, batteries and motors that don't add much to the bicycle as far as weight. It would make it feel uh, like something different or something that you may not be accustomed to. When in actuality, the way that we've designed these e-bikes and, and made them so user-friendly is that they're very intuitive when it comes to riding. Um, really with very little explanation, somebody who's custom to riding a bicycle can hop on an e-bike and really just have a blast in the first 50 feet. I mean, you're smiling from ear to ear. I think uh, surprise and delight is usually what we see when people get off the e-bike and we ask them, how was your first ride? there's always that reaction like, oh, it was so amazing. I, I didn't know that an e-bike would be like this. I think that's really great. So a couple of the things that I wanted to touch on is, uh, you know, Totem USA is positioned beyond the Zen Rider to be able to provide bikes to the industry uh, and for your own customers. And, and this is only gonna be, you know, the first one that you're doing with Panasonic. But uh, what are your thoughts for the future uh, of where e-bikes are gonna go for Totem? You know, Derek, part of what makes this collaboration so special and the groundwork that you guys have done to get this UL certification is that this is now a tried and true system where we can take a system like this and apply it to a different frame style or a different application. And whereas previously they may have done component certifications and where you're sort of piecing things together, the fact that this is a total system allows us from a design point of view to create models that fall into different categories that people may be interested in using. Um, anything from a folding bike for the urban commuter to a road bike for somebody who's actively training. Um, the list goes on and on. It's just such a, a wide variety of applications for this wonderful system that you guys have come up with. Well, that's great of you to say. We really appreciate that. Um, one of the things that I think is really cool about this system is, like you mentioned, uh, it's, it's tried and true. And the reason that I can actually say that confidently is that we have over 1 million of this system already in the market, 1 million units that is, in the Japan market where e-bikes have already uh, become commonplace. You see them on every street and on every corner. Um, from Japan, you know, the e-bike market has really exploded in Europe now 
And now I think finally the USA is on track to, to follow in those uh, footsteps. So I think as we move forward, you know, we're going to see these shifts in micro mobility where everyone is going to be a lot more comfortable uh, rather than getting in the car for every single little type of trip like we discussed. I think we'll see people taking e-bikes uh, a lot more seriously and that's going to be great. Yeah, you know, Derek, one of the great things about this is that uh, Panasonic has granted us the use of the Powered by Panasonic logo on the bike itself. And we just think that's a, a tremendous lens credibility to, to both of us. And we're really uh, excited to be able to use that. Yeah, it is very exciting. I think that's a really powerful phrase, too. And it's going to be the first time that it's being featured on one of our partners' e-bikes. The reason that I think it's so cool is that it actually kind of has that image in mind, right? Like the rider is powering the e-bike together with the Panasonic system. So the way that that really happens is kind of magical. You get the input from a rider's feet to the pedals and then that, uh, the, the software that's been developed over years now is uh, using the algorithms to take all that input from the sensors, the torque sensor and the cadence sensor and provide a really nice, enjoyable, smooth output that multiplies the user's foot power to create, you know, the actual experience on the bike. So the bike is propelling both with the motor and the riders uh, pedaling. It's, it's pretty unique and I think, like you said earlier, that we factor when someone gets on the bike is definitely something that we see people experience and I love that they're gonna be able to say, you know, the Zen Rider powered by Panasonic. It's just awesome. Yep, yep, that's right. I, we think it's it's so important that the the way that the bike is ridden, it just has to feel intuitive. I think a lot of people sort of uh, question, well, geez, is this going to take off on me like a motorcycle or dirt bike or right. something like that? And in reality, it's just if you know how to ride a bike, you will be just fine on an e-bike, and and you'll uh, it, it's very intuitive. So Ben, with the launch upcoming for the Zen Rider, where are customers going to be able to find the bike? Well, Derek, we're going to have these bikes available on our website, which is www.totemusa.com. We also will have these listed on Amazon, so a major online retailer, as well as a few select dealers throughout the country. So beyond the direct-to-consumer type of sales that we're looking for, I think business-to-business -business is going to be great uh, as far as opportunities for our partnership, uh, Panasonic combined with Totem USA. Uh, so if there's any folks out there that view this video that have inquiries that they'd like to pose to us or dealers and whatnot who are interested in Zen Rider, uh, please definitely reach out to us through the proper Panasonic and, and Totem USA channels. Thanks very much, Ben, for your time today. Uh, really appreciate it. It's been a great talk and we're really excited about uh, the opportunity. So I just wanted to say thanks. Is there anything that you'd like to say? Derek, we'd like to say thank you as well. Thank you to uh, Panasonic and for this tremendous opportunity and for everyone watching out there. We really appreciate your time and we're excited to release the Zen Rider. Absolutely. So thank you everyone for watching the video and we really appreciate you uh, tuning in. If you do have any questions for us, please feel free to reach out through the Panasonic channels and definitely check back for updates. We've got a lot more to come. <laughs>